Hello, in this video I'm going to give you an introduction to R. It'll set you up to be able to use the separate help sheets and videos that lead you through the techniques covered in the biomeasurement textbook using R rather than SPSS. R is a statistical and graphic software freely available on the internet. To download a free copy you need to go to the website www.r-project.org and this will bring this website up. To download a copy you go down this left hand menu and click on CRAN. This brings up a list of mirrors, places that you can download from and you just scroll down to find the country and the location nearest to you. It mostly doesn't particularly matter which mirror you use, especially within country, it's just slightly more efficient if you get to the closest one. So we can close you so this is how to get it on your on your computer, either Mac or PC. Okay, so once you've got it on your computer and you've opened it up, it'll look like this. I'm going to spend a few moments setting it up, R up, the way I like to use it and the way I've set it up to use in the separate help sheets. You will, over time, develop your own preferences and way of doing things. Okay, so this is the overall uh, GUI, G G graphic user interface. And within that, brings up the first thing it's, when it's launched, it brings up the R console window. And the R console window has this blurb in, which you can get rid of after reading it by uh, going edit, clear console. Then what I tend to do is move the console over to the right and then go to file and open a new script. This brings up an R editor window. So side by side, I have my R editor window and my R console window and if I tile them vertically it looks like this. R uses command language called R code to do everything from simple descriptive statistics through to complex statistics and graphics. R code, let's, get, let's have a little example of R code. We might want to do the sum of uh, some numbers. We put those numbers we want to sum in the brackets there. And then uh, we can put our cursor to the end of that row and do control R and that makes R carry out the code so we've got this, the command line and the output from that and that all appears in the R console. You can actually type R code directly into the R console. The problem with that is you can't then edit it if you make a, a mistake so um, I, I, this is the way I like to, to work with R. I've used a convention in the help sheets of putting R code in blue and so when you see R, when you see text in blue that's R code that can be copied and pasted directly into the R editor window and run from there. If you have multiple lines of code you have to highlight it all and then control R. If you're just running a single line of code you can put the end, your cursor at the end of that row and just do control R. It's often quite useful, in addition to having code, to having some notes to tell you what the code's about. It doesn't particularly apply in this, well, it definitely doesn't apply in this simple example, but for illustration purposes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to add some notes at the beginning before, before the code. So, sum of data. Now, notice how I've put that hashtag at the beginning of the note. That tells R, don't actually try and do anything with what's after that, it's just a note, just text. So now if I highlight those two rows and do control R, I get both my notes and my code in the R console and the output. So this bit's the same and it's just, uh, just the notes that I've added. It's very important to get this hashtag in front of any notes you have because otherwise uh, it'll get an, you'll get almost certainly get an error message. Instead of putting data in these brackets, you can Call, put what's called an object which you've put a, uh, a, the data in um, and I'll show you how to create objects in the entering data video. Okay that's about it as an introduction to R.